Welcome back to another video and today we will be doing a PLU's mystery box unboxing. Welcome back and uh, as you have seen probably from the title we are doing a, another PL, PLU's mystery box unboxing so uh, there is a video that I posted I think a few weeks ago where I sort of told a story about my sort of an PLU's order where everything kind of went wrong and within that order there was like my first mystery box and I actually did show in that video what I got in the box and uh, because I was, uh, how should I say, positively surprised from despite all the issues I had with the order, but still about the contents of the mystery box, I thought that I decided that I would order another one and see what I will get. Uh, before we get to the mystery box unboxing, I will just show the couple of other products that I got. So there was a one product that I uh, didn't get with the last order that had a lot of issues, uh, but and I, I obviously was not going to make a new order from the brand before I got my order that I've been waiting for a couple of months. But uh, since I did get the order and everything was uh, with that order, then okay, I thought that now it was a good time to put in uh, another product that I have been eyeing from the brand. And then there was a sort of gift with purchase that I will also show first, and then we will actually get the content of the contents of what I got in the sort of mystery box. And uh, we shall see that it, uh, did I get a lucky second time, because as I said, I was pretty impressed with the contents first time. But let's now get to the products. Okay, so just as a disclaimer, I have actually unboxed this because uh, as always with online orders, I did want to check that first of all, did I get everything that I paid for and also was uh, anything sort of broken because obviously I would not want to like, I would talk about it in a video, but I would obviously before filming want to know that if there's something that I have to uh, complain about to customer service, but everything has been intact and everything that I ordered was within the package, so good thing. Uh, let's now first get to the stuff that I actually knew I was getting. So first was something that I got as a gift of purchase. So this is one of their uh, famous eye bases. I believe this is in the shade... Uh, uh, it doesn't actually say, say the shade number. I think it's probably on the back of the packaging. I still haven't opened this. Uh, I haven't opened this obviously as you can see. Uh, I think this is something that they are giving out as freebies uh, during the month of July so they seem to have be doing this now that um, every month they have one like a smaller product that they will include with uh, if you order from the brand as long as they have uh, in stock with products so I believe in June they had one of their uh, lip glosses uh, oh sorry I think that oh, sorry lip not lip glosses but I think that's uh, lip balms that has the sort of keychain thing and now the, I believe on month of July they said that they will put this, their sort of eye base uh, if you buy something from them uh, as long as they have these sort of freebies in stock. So this is not the typical packaging, this product comes in if you buy it separately. And uh, then another product that I knew that uh, I have been eyeing, so this is in a very cutesy cookie type of packaging. So this is their cream bronzer and they had had the cream bronzer and if you actually watched my P. Louise haul from last year, from it was my sort of Black Friday haul and first time ordering the brand, I did get one of their liquid bronzers in their sort of, uh, the kind that's in the tube packaging that they are known for having their sort of original liquid blushes in. However, with that one, and I did critique them a lot, that it's quite hard. I got the lightest shade and the lightest shade actually, because uh, in the online photos, it's really hard to tell what the shades actually look like. It actually was the shade of my skin tone, basically. So this time I actually did go to scrolling tr scroll through Instagram and I was able to find swatches of this one. However, I would still wish that they would actually like... They should really, in terms of with their uh, blushes and these bronzers, they should really put the like skin undertones to the shade descriptions and actually put a... Well, with this one they actually do have now a live model image, so that's something positive. But um, this is how the sort of... There's like a double packaging in this one and... Um, my, I actually have to be a bit careful with this one. So this is actually the only thing that were, was a bit... Uh, I wouldn't say defective, but the pan had come off from the compact. Uh, I think the magnet here might be a bit loose. Uh, the product is intact. It has gotten a bit messy, but I did clean up the cover. But uh, I don't know if my camera picking up, but the, as you can see, the pan is not... It, the tail, I think the sort of embossing should be in the middle, in the center, but mine obviously because I had to like place this back. It is a bit wonky, but uh, I do think it's now holding up. It doesn't feel anymore. It's loose, but just you are aware if you're getting these uh, be a bit careful, like maybe to uh, shake the compact a little bit to see that if yours is loose so you don't open up and then end up having your cream bronzer on that sort of table. Uh, mine shade is in Biscuit Bestie, so this is the fourth 
shade if you start from the fairest shades and this is what I sort of estimated based on the sort of model they had their images on their website and based on the swatches they had on their one of their Instagram shorts so um, I actually think we can do so that I will swatch this a little bit on the back of my hand and we shall see how it is a bit on the yellow toned side, but I do think in terms of shade match this should fit pretty well. I'm sorry, there's probably some... They are doing a... Our neighboring apartment is having a uh, sort of renovation, so if you hear any noises of like work machines and that sort of stuff uh, from the window, that's, that's what they are. But anyway, uh, regarding the shade, uh, it is a bit yellow leaning, but it is like this is definitely going to be a bronzer shade, unlike the previous cream uh, liquid bronzer that I had from them, which basically was the shade of my skin tone. So if you are someone around my sort of, you have a sort of fair, cool, rosy undertone, this could maybe be a bronzer shade that would fit you, at least based on the fact that it does have depth, so it's not your like exactly your skin tone, but it is still like a bronzing shade. But yeah, that's the sort of first one that I got, and now I'm gonna actually get some paper to wipe that off. And yeah, but uh, first impressions based on the swatches, uh, this doesn't feel like it's going to be like uh, how should I say? Uh, the initial swatch didn't feel that it's uh, like super emollient, which actually could be a good thing, meaning that it's also isn't going to be like too pigmented when you pick it up because if it's a super emollient bronzer formula there can be that you get quite a lot on your brush and then you have to be very careful applying it but uh, I will be getting back to this when this gets into my rotation and you will be hearing how it feels too how I feel about wearing this one but yeah those were sort of the uh, stuff that I knew I was getting beforehand and now let's actually get to the mystery box uh, mystery box part which I think is the more exciting one so I did close the window so hopefully the noises aren't going to be as loud so mystery box as I said I did actually like unbox this chick that everything was like intact and also uh, if I would have gotten uh, something about I think a disclaimer about the mystery boxes on their website they clearly say you shouldn't order more than one of course people obviously order more than one because I do think these are kind of a good deal if you want to sort of grow your P. Louis collection. However, if you have a lot of P. Louis's products uh, already on your collection, or if you have ordered a lot of these, I think that it's a very valid disclaimer that you are bound to at, at some point get some doubles. However, in my case, because, well, now I will say that I am starting to accumulate quite a lot of their products, but because I have now made a few orders from them, but as someone who doesn't, who hasn't been ordering many years from the brand, I do think that uh, getting an identical box, especially if I have, because I ordered this in a different month than the, that one order that took forever to come to me. So I do think that the, I sort of calculated my odds that my odds of getting an exactly same box uh, were quite low. But I will say that if you have like ordered maybe four or five of these already, at some point I think you're bound to get uh, sorry, you get doubles or triples. And especially if you do already have quite a lot of like P. Lewis's product beforehand. If you have, for example, subscribed to their a budget box I think is the name of their subscription box or if you have generally just bought a lot of their collections individually so just something to consider when you buy from them because they can like they say it in the like the description that you can basically get anything that is on their website that means also merch so there is potential that you can also get something else than makeup but also if you just generally have a lot of their products it can be like there's a high chance you might get doubles but um I can happily say that I didn't get any doubles and I am going to already like preface this by saying that um, I think we got a pretty, how should I say, a decent mystery box. So first one that uh, we got was one of these. So this is their bad, uh, bad I'm not gonna say the a swear word, so bad B, these are their sort of energy juice uh, package, so it looks like a juice carton. And uh, in here they have, uh, within these sort of juice cartons, they have so um, they have one of their uh, lip balms, which is in the sort of keychain tube, I will soon show it. And this should be one of their lip oils, which is in the kind of fancy crown packaging. Let's first show that. Um, protect your pouch, and this is about, I think, traditional lip balm. Uh, and. This is in the, as you can probably saw from the packaging, I think this is meant to be lemon scented. So this is how the sort of uh, lip balm looks like. Pretty traditional tube. Uh, I think I actually now have all four of their lip balm formats. Uh, maybe not the one that comes because they do still have one more sort of lip duo format where there's a lip scrub 
And I think they might actually advertise the one in the port as a pot as a lip mask, but in terms of their lip balm, because I now have this one in their keychain, and I got in my last order because the, I had one of the Easter eggs uh, that was one of their like budget boxes for spring. Uh, within those, there was the one that's in another kind of uh, another kind of lip balm that's in the another kind of tube, not like this one. And then uh, the other one is in a sort of clicky pen. So I now have almost every. And I did actually comment in my last video that I do think that, that uh, considering that, uh, that for one brand, P. Louise seems to be very lip balm heavy because they have several of these. And then the sort of uh, lip oil that is in the, this is uh, simply the Zest is the name of this, so goes with the uh, lemon team. I really don't want to pick everything of these, but yeah, well. And yeah, I remember it correctly. So this is in the sort of crown packaging, and I think these are pretty viral on social media, especially TikTok, and I kind of understand because of the packaging. And uh, uh, I don't know, are you able to see it from the bottom, but it has a sort of very zesty uh, yellow color. However, because this is a lip oil or sort of an lip oil lip gloss hybrid, uh, I don't think all of these, some of these I do think have a bit color to them, but I think this is again one of, the, one of those colors, just like the one that came in the white chocolate easter egg collection that uh, this is probably pretty sheer on the lips. Uh, this is probably also going to be smelling like lemon. Uh, I think generally with P. Louise's lip products, especially if you're buying like any of these, if you are very scent sensitive, I don't think I would recommend because they do have pretty strong. Uh, I did open them. Uh, I did open uh, this one. And I did uh, gently sniff sort of the, I took the cap off and sort of gently sniff the sort of uh, sniff the sort of applicator part without squeezing it and you can kind of uh, smell the lemon scent even if you don't squeeze out any product so that's just something to consider. Uh, then let's get to the sort of two I think big bigger items or ticket items so this is the wrap it up and uh, this is one of their I think contour and bronzer palettes and uh, I think these were in their these were these were their last so during last Christmas they came out with a sort of holiday uh, sort of like holiday collection face palettes and this is the bronzer palette so they had a palette of blushes palette of highlighters and palette of bronzers and I'm just gonna show so uh, packaging just like with P. Louis style very girly very this sort of pretty esque and there's the plastic fold. And this is how the bronzer looks. Okay, so obviously with these kind of palettes, um, I'm probably only going to be able to use maybe, obviously not the ones in the bottom, those are way too orange and deep for me. Uh, I think these two are gonna be a safe bet that I will be able to use them. So for an individual consumer, these, while these like you would think that look initially that these all offer pretty good value, but uh, obviously like with, uh, a person only has one skin tone, so I obviously can't, won't make use out of this whole palette. And this goes for anyone who will get this, because if you're a medium, then you probably will use some of these shades. If you're deeper, then you are somewhere here. So depending on your how deep your skin tone is. So uh, for individual, like initially you might look at, oh god, you get so many bronzer shades, but uh, your skin tone really usually doesn't change. Uh, like of course on summer time you can get a bit more tan and so on, but uh, one person in their daily use probably won't use all of these shades. For makeup artists, these are probably a good product to p build a sort of kit. So if you're someone who uses makeup on multiple person with different kind of skin tones, then these kind of offer good value. But especially with bronzer palettes, I'm always like that. I would rather have bronzer or contour duos rather than these sort of big palettes. Uh, with blush and highlighter palettes, sometimes I can kind of see the value, especially with blush palettes, there's usually that people can use different kind of blush tones. Uh, with highlighter palette, it depends always on how deep the different highlighting shades go. So I really, in terms of these bronzer palettes, like um, it's a good value in terms of when you consider that you get a very big face palette in the sort of mystery box. So you can't like argue with that. But for an individual person, for example, for a person like me, like obviously I will be able to only use a couple of shades. But if you consider like getting a maximum value from mystery box, this is still a pretty good like item to get in, get in the box. And uh, I believe that this palette individually on P. Louise's website uh, cost like 30 euros. So the um, mystery box without shipping cost, I think is somewhere around 35, 95 in euro prices. So you are already kind of getting the value of the box by, by just like getting this one. Uh, 
Then the third, uh, third and last item. So stack, I got the uh, stack M up uh, one of the smaller palettes. I do believe these are a bit on the older side of the palettes that they have on their website. And mine is in the shade, which, what is the orange shade called? Uh, I think it's, it's the take the risk or lose the chance, or is it bark? I have to, oh, is it back yourself? I have to check what, uh, what is the actual shade of this one because, yeah, I think the back, back yourself, I think is the orange, what the orange palette is called because they had like a color range of this sort of mini palettes. And, uh, this is, again, I have the plastic wrap there, but, um, here it goes. So it's an orangey yellow palette. I'm actually pretty happy that I get, got this uh, in a sort of mini because these are certainly color tones that I don't want to have a big palette from so probably good that considering last time I got that last time on the <coughs> mystery box I got one of the bigger purple palettes that had the, like two layers but uh, with this kind of colors again because these aren't my primary colors I'm pretty actually happy that I got this sort of smaller one because uh, I don't have these kind of shades from P. Louis so I will be able to now try out the formula how these sort of perform and uh, so then, but also this doesn't like take uh, a lot of space in my drawers because now I have in my drawers, I now have actually two of the like bigger two tier palettes and those are kind of causing like storage issues for me. So this is actually like, I'm pretty okay now getting a smaller palette in the second mystery box and not getting because uh, I was like conscious of the risk that I could get another of the two tiered palettes and then I would have been like, uh, I don't know how I would have organized my eyeshadow drawer if that would have happened. So um, this is much more convenient and because again, these aren't like my primary shades. Uh, it's a good that it's in this sort of uh, smaller, niftier, niftier size. So if I, for example, don't, uh, so this is easier to store. And then again, if I don't end up liking this, it's not such a big palette to throw away. But uh, very, I again think this was a pretty good addition to the box. But yeah, that was the sort of last item, item of the box. And let's get to maybe a bit of a conclusion is how I felt about this sort of small mini haul that I did with the brand and how I felt about the sort of mystery box content. So I'd say as a conclusion, did I get lucky again? I would say that yes, I did. Uh, with mystery boxes, they are mystery boxes. You don't know unless there is some sort of an opportunity to select or otherwise you don't know really what you're getting. And that's always the risk when you order these kind of products. But uh, when you just consider the contents, like there are, I got two, two palettes, one face palette, one eyeshadow palette, and then I actually did get the, oh, I took them out of the box, and I did get a duo of their sort of lip products, so I think as a mystery box, like again, uh, I th I'd say like definitely if you're someone who wants to build your P. Lewis collection, these are a good way to start with, especially if you're a bit like unsure that you want to get maybe a bit of everything. As always, uh, as I did discuss when I already unboxed the previous mystery box, I can't promise you will get the same content. It could be that, uh, for example, you will end up getting some of the, so like these sort of individual merch items that they have. You might get one of their lip palettes, which is one of the like, I think, one of the products that I, for example, wasn't impressed with because I got the lip palettes in their last year's budget box, which was the budget box that came before Christmas. And that was a product that I actually did, um, did end up decluttering pretty quickly because I felt that the lip palette quality of the lip products was quite poor. So within these mystery boxes, you can get either really great products or you can get some, some not so great products. Uh, they are currently also running a mini mystery box, which is 80, I think it's a bit over 18 euros if I don't, rem if I remember correctly. And uh, with that one also, I would like make the consideration that because uh, the big mystery box uh, says that it will offer value of over 60 pounds. I can't, I know this is a bit confusing, but P. Lewis's description always said that they over that because they are UK best brand, obviously. So with the description boxes, everything is about. So in, you can kind of convert that, uh, that the, if you do the sort of like a uh, roundup conversion that it should be a bit, uh, bit over than 60 euros should be in euro prices the value and i do think, think that uh, based on the like the two bigger boxes that i had did i have gotten the value that the brand has promised with the smaller boxes that they are now having i think they're saying that it's supposed to be over 30 pounds and i do think that uh, I did uh, saw one Insta reel or something where they sort of bit advertised what you get in the, could get in the mini mystery boxes, and I would just maybe steer you that if you really want to get maybe like maximize your chances of getting better products, I would then just go with the more expensive one because 
some of the stuff that I saw them putting in the sort of examples, their mini mystery boxes that didn't seem that promising. So maybe if you are really wanting to get mystery box from the brand, stick with the big ones because they are definitely like putting like uh, at least based on my experiences, you do seem to get pretty like good value for them. But of course, uh, the suitability of individual products to your skin tone, or if you have like if you want just eyeshadow, or if you want just lip or cheek products that you those kind of that that's like um, up to the whoever packages this so it is as i said a as the name implies mystery box so uh you can kind of like sort of uh, try to maximize the value you get by buying the bigger box but there aren't of course any promises what they you will end up getting but um as i said i have think i have gotten lucky two times i maybe might order God, this is getting, uh, these are very uh, addictive on their own way. I think I would maybe do so that I would order like one more again, maybe like next month, because I do think that you, I will try to like increase my chance of getting different products because they are obviously taking products that they have in like stock uh, in their storage house. So I would like maybe do so that I will like order one more mystery box in the future. And then I will just like take a pause because then I think with the fourth and fifth box, there would be like a genuine risk that I would start getting doubles. Uh, regarding the two other products, the eyeshadow base and the sort of uh, biscuit biscuit cream bronzer, I will be though I will be putting those in my rotation at some point, just like I will do with the mystery box items when the time comes, and uh, I shall I will be trying all of these out at some point, so they will be making an appearance again in my channel. Uh, but comment down below, have you ordered any of P. Louise's mystery box? Did you get lucky, or did you perhaps get unlucky? Certainly, like for the all the viewers like let us know what has your luck been with this one so we can sort of all make informed buying decisions because as I said that your luck can change from what I got. If you like this video push the like button subscribe to the channel and ring the bell button if you want to get notifications for my future content. You can also find me with the same nickname Makeup Hedgehog on Instagram. I hope I'll be seeing you again soon. Bye bye!